Street Children's Orphanage. I chose this volunteer vacation because I really wanted to work with kids, and I think it's really important to work with kids and have a role, good role model for them. And it was my first time going away, so I only chose two weeks to start off small. I really liked to volunteer. I thought that they worked really well to make me feel comfortable and make me feel not nervous when I went around on my first couple of days. As soon as I got into the airport and got my bag, Katia was there right at the front with her side with my name on it. And I felt at ease and very comfortable and safe because she was there right away and I didn't have to look around at all. I chose this project because, like I said earlier, I really enjoy working with kids and I, and I feel that I can be a good role model to younger girls especially because I have a younger sister and I, do, I feel comfortable with other girls. Uh, my project duration was only two weeks because, like I said, I wanted to um, start off small, but I will definitely do a longer one next time. But when I went to the all-girls home, they were immediately loving and they came and hugged me and I knew that that was a better place for me to go because I could give them that love back and I could relate to them better as, a, as another female. Basically, I would get there at 10 o'clock in the morning and they would be doing some work, sitting around the table, coloring or doing, going over their vocabulary or their, just their homework for school, depending on what age they were. And I would just join them and help them with whatever they needed and for a couple hours and then it would be lunchtime. We would all sit around a big table and have soup to start and a segundo, which would probably be rice and meat or, or pasta and juice. And then um, after that, in the afternoon, we might go to the park or just basically hang out with the kids. I, I brought some activities to do because they don't have that many things. So I brought coloring books and crayons and markers and um, nail polish and things for the girls. Then we would have tea time at around 5 o'clock and everybody would sit around the table again and we'd have a tea and a piece of bread and, and basically that's it and then I would leave at 5 o'clock. I loved every minute of it. I felt very useful and, and I loved getting close to the girls. My memorable moments were basically probably two of the girls that, that were about 14, 15 years old. I got really close to them and I spoke to them a lot. And one girl, she gave me a bracelet and a, and the earrings and a necklace and um, she got really close to me and I, and I think the best part was that she could confide in me and she told me her story, why she's in the orphanage, and why she's there. And I thought that was really good that she felt she could trust me and confide in me a bit. That was very gratifying and I think that's the best reason to want to go so that these girls can confide in somebody older. I think this is a really worthy project because there's only three people that work, three older women that work there, and they all have jobs, they all have a lot to do. There's a psychologist, there's a teacher, and there's a director. So they don't always have enough time to give all the kids attention. So it's always good, they always need more people that are just there to be with them and to talk to them and play with them, depending on what age they are. And I felt that every girl, every age appreciated me. I, got, I related to the older girls, they, we, we watched TV together, we talked, and like, we did our hair, and the young girls that played with them and took them to the park. So everybody want, needs more attention there. Out of this experience, I really appreciate my family a lot. And um, it makes me really appreciate what I have. It was extremely, extremely gratifying. I had a wonderful time. I felt really comfortable. As long as you volunteer continues, with what they're doing and they're so open to suggestion. So if anyone ever has any any problems or any suggestions, they're very open to everything. So I really, my experience was great. I didn't really have any problems at all. During my stay, I got to visit um, a lot of different markets, like a big huge market called Nueva Feria, and I did a lot of shopping there. It's really, really cheap. And I got to go to Glenbe, which is a park with a, a lot of like, butterfly conservatory and, and schools and restaurants. I got to go, there's a lot of places that I went and I got to see a lot of the culture. The most amazing thing that I saw was the um, celebrations for La Paz and the anniversary for La Paz this past weekend. So we went to a big um, parade at night and got to see all the traditional costumes and folklore music and everything. That was amazing. 
they got to see the culture and learn a little bit of history as well. And I always took the same bus to get to my work and then get back home and the taxis were very easy. As long as you knew you had your address on you and a map, it's no problem. I would definitely volunteer again um, with you volunteer and I would recommend this program to a lot of my friends that were interested in, in volunteering, anybody that's interested in volunteering. This is a great organization because it's, it's personal enough that you get to know everybody and they are very willing to, to open to suggestions and willing to get to know you and make you stay as good as possible. Just definitely stay longer than two weeks because you need a lot more time to see all the sites of Bolivia and hopefully outside of the town that you're in because it's hard to get around, it takes longer to get around. So definitely stay a lot longer than two weeks. So Thank you.